Welcome back, Plug Nation. Today, we got some great information. You already know I don't like to waste any time, so whatever you gotta do, make sure that like button is blue, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let's get right into the news. Luck TV said, you're buying NBA 2K23 when it comes out, true or false? Let me know in the comment section down below, true or false? Are you buying 2K23 on the first day that it comes out? I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm a basketball addict. I watch it, I play it in real life, I play the video game, I always have to buy 2K no matter what. I cannot lie to myself and tell you I'm not gonna buy the game. But I want you all to know, like I say every single year, these videos are not to get you to buy 2K23. My own excitement is my excitement for the game. If you guys want to buy it, you can, but do not buy it because of my videos anyway double h said true or false season should stay in 2k but should not be the primary level system and that is so true the game needs to still have seasons for the people that don't play the game enough that's completely fine they should still be able to get rewards then there should be a legend system for the people that play consistently throughout the year and are able to earn really cool rewards i've already told you all i think one of the best rewards 2k can do because they've already done where your badge tiers go from like gold to hall of fame when you hit legend they've done in 2k20 where you get the plus 10 badges in every category i think something they could do is like give you plus three attributes in every single spot so say your build gets an 81 driving dunk this year now when you hit legend you get an 84 so now that build gets contact dunks or your build has an 82 ball handle well now it gets 85 and you get the derrick rose signature size up and all those really glitchy moves you see what i'm saying it would add more versatility to the game and not everyone's going to be a play shot because you don't have to make a play shot anymore now you can get all types of cool builds that can do lots of things anyway luck tv went to twitter posted this it got over 3500 likes he said nba 2k 23 early dot 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 what's up so maybe i don't know for sure but maybe this is the cover of 2k23 the standard edition like i told you guys i think ja will be on the standard edition or steph curry and then of course you know the legend edition is going to have lebron or michael jordan because it's 2k23 you know so they're not going to miss out on that anyway maybe this video is just about luck he said bring these dreads back in nba 2k23 and it's like why does 2k take these things out of their game there's things that they should take out and then there's things that just make no sense to take out why would you remove leaderboards from the game i used to love being able to see what my rank was was in the entire world why would you take out hairstyles like that doesn't even make any sense why you would do that grinding said give me one thing you 100 want in nba 2k 23 now for me that is definitely having multiple areas to play at like i've been slamming the table on all year 30 different places to play just like nba live you can play in miami you can play in paris you can play in china you can play in california all that type of stuff and you can add that into the 3v3 pro-am so that you're not just playing in this one arena every single time it takes you 30 times at least to play in the same place again it's really cool it's refreshing it's gonna be vibrant different colors all that type of stuff 2k please take advantage of this and let me know in the comment section what you think 100 percent needs to be in nba 2k 23 who remembers the nba 2k 18 park it is known as the worst park of all time it was super gray not colorful at all but the twos court was actually fire it had mj kobe Shaq, all that stuff it was actually really lit and this dude infamous i'm shouting him out once again made a court that looks like this and look how amazing that looks 2k not saying you have to necessarily hire this guy but we can have really cool things like we used to have in the past on these courts and they've been doing good the last few seasons but i'm just saying man for all the stuff that they can do like the you know the matchmaking that i was talking about where you play in different arenas you can easily have courts that look like this you see what i'm saying you can hire these guys right here okay in the last video we talked about people being able to play next gen on the current gen consoles and i gave out some misinformation i will tell you that i am wrong when i'm wrong because i honestly thought i knew that people were just playing current gen on next gen but a lot of people gave me some comments and we figured it out it's that's not how the cloud works you basically are streaming the game on your xbox your console is not actually running the game so people are playing it through like a cloud type of thing it doesn't really make sense to me but i just want to let you all know that the game it was not handling it the way that i said but still we can easily be back on one console 2k has done this many times when the next gen consoles came out previously before these yeah we had two three years before we were back on the same game but they did exactly what i was talking about it's literally history you guys can go back and look agent made a lot of videos making fun of it in 2k18 how you could play 2k18 on the ps3 but it was just horrible graphics you know what i'm saying that's what they can do for 2k23 they can make the game where current gen players can play the same game the next gen players are playing just at the same graphics you know capped out at where the the older consoles can play at now in the last video i explained what i think is the best way for 2k23 to have their shooting i said it should be just like 2k20 except for the lower three 
point you go, the lower your green window is. So if you have a 63 pointer, you only have a very small window and able to hit consistent shots. Now I kind of said it wrong. You should be able to shoot consistently in my opinion with a 65 three pointer if you are very good at the game. I definitely did say it wrong in the last video. So for example, if you have a 95 three pointer, you should have a 55 millisecond green window. Like you should definitely be able to green your shot pretty easy wide open. But if you have a 65 three pointer, you can still green your shot wide open almost the same as a 95, except for you're gonna have a much smaller green window. You have only about 15 milliseconds to time it in that green window in order to get a green. And on top of all that, especially if you have like a 65 three pointer and you're able to hit greens, you should not be hitting any whites. Like one out of 10 whites should go in. You know what I'm saying? So what that means is you're able to make builds that don't have the perfect shooting and you know, get more defense, playmaking, finishing and all that. But it comes at the risk of, are you a very good player at timing your jump shot? So very few people are gonna be able to do that. A lot of people took it wrong in the last video. Like I was saying, everyone should be able to shoot with a 65 three. No, you have to be very good to be able to time the shot consistently for it to go in. People really just do not understand and don't look back at the older 2Ks. If you make it too hard, like what I'm saying is if you make it to where you literally cannot shoot with a 73 pointer, then you end up with NBA 2K21 where every single build is a playmaking shot creator. Now in 2K22, still lots of people use a play shot, but 2K21 was like everybody had a play shot. Like 95% of people were playing part with a play shot because if you had a 75 three pointer and you timed your shot perfect every single time five out of ten of those threes were going to be full bars literally full bars which means you timed your shot correctly your guy's hand is sitting up in the air and then he's walking back and then it misses like you should not be penalized for knowing your shot for being a good enough player to time your shot correctly so what i'm saying is 2k23 you have a 65 three-pointer you can green just as much almost as someone with a 95 but it's gonna be way harder to get those greens you see what i'm saying you're able to still get those greens but you have to be one of the top players top five top ten percent of the players in order to do that you see so it's not gonna be like you think it is where all oh, everyone's just gonna be running around with and there's no reason to make a play shot or uh, you know a high shooting building no you still have to be really good so a lot of the non-experienced players are still going to make hall of fame shooting badge builds you see what i'm saying so basically 2k20 but a bit harder because in 2k20 you had pretty much the same green window as someone with a 95 three if you had a 65 three that's not what i'm saying you have to really time that shot correctly and then again like i said you should not be able to make almost any whites with a 63 pointer like you should almost one out of ten is probably the most you should make with a 63 because that's the chance you're taking if you don't green it you miss. Look, y'all, I have a lot of just really good ideas for 2K23. I really hope that 2K decides to fly me out or interview me, give me something, you know? And I'm not saying that 2K has to just listen to everything a content creator says and make sure that's in the game. You know, this guy said it, Badgebook said, oh, it has to be in the game. No, I just want them to take my ideas into consideration for how the game should be because every single year I got a 90 plus win percentage. I've been playing with the 2K League players, if you guys have been saying. I play the game out of experience high level no ego nothing like that you guys know so why not fly someone out who every year is experienced and plays the game a lot to give information on the game i can literally figure out the builder i can figure out some glitches that can be patched all that type of stuff before the game even comes out so that we don't have to worry about that you know getting fixed two months later down the road or never getting fixed in the entire game like every year there's a pretty big issue in every 2k actually that never gets fixed throughout the year i'm serious think about it 2k22 the biggest issue whites go in way too much but paint defense is also terrible at the same time 2k21 you add the speed boost glitch 2k20 was a pretty good balanced game with the gameplay but then you had the hop step you know everybody knows about the hop step it was extremely broken 2k19 you had the pushing that actually did get fixed but it didn't get fixed until like the game is already gone like it was literally eight months into the game when it got fixed so it's just you know 2k18 the blow buys and snatchbacks these are things that can easily be took out the game before the game even comes out so people don't have to complain about that we don't have to worry about when it's going to get fixed 
all that type of stuff. Anyway, y'all, check this out right here from DB. This mod looks amazing for how you can make 2K23 graphics. Look, you see, it's not like covered in sweat. It's not all about that. And I honestly think 2K did a very good job with the graphics this year on 2K22 Next Gen. But at the same time, let's make the new trailer not all about the sweat and stuff. You know the joke about the sweat that 2K does every year. Anyway, y'all, it's your boy Bash Plug. You've been plugged in. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And if you want to see more of these, just comment down below W and I'm out. Peace.